So there's been some time since the last video I made and there are several reasons for that. Uh, one important reason is of course that the summer vacation is over. Schools, jobs, kindergarten, everything is back up. And of course that means that um, there's not that much time to make the videos. But there is also one more reason and that's what's behind me. Because I've also bought a new tractor. So why did I need a new tractor? Well, there is two reasons for that. One is what I'm sitting in, the front loader. And the other one is that this tractor has something that the other doesn't, four wheel drive. And that's something that I've been wanting since, uh, almost since the first time I drove the other tractor. Because my fields are wet. It rains a lot where I live. So uh, that's a good thing to have. But of course, this tractor did not come without its issues. So one of the big problems with the tractor is rust. There is a lot of rust. As you can see when I drive my whole hand through this. But luckily, the rust is only on the body parts. The, the tractor itself, everything that matters, is actually solid. But, of course, this needs fixing, so this will be a huge job on this tractor. So the tractor tires on this tractor are not that old, and the tracks is still very good on them. But this wheel leaks. It leaks air. I pumped this up earlier today, and, and already I need to fill it again. So this is something that we need to fix. Another problem that this tractor has is the hydraulics on the front loader because it sags, it wants to stay up. And I don't know uh, if that is caused by some sort of uh, return valve that leaks or uh, if it's something in the cylinders or whatever this is. But this is also something that we need to fix. As you can see, there is some sort of leak from the engine here. This is what um, it feels like diesel. So this tractor also have some other things that the other tractor do not have. And one of the good things that this has is doors. To be able to, to shut the doors. And also it has window wipers. And that will come in really handy in the winter when I'm shoveling snow. And of course also when I'm shoveling snow, the, the heater inside here. That will be nice. So when it comes to the electrical equipment in this tractor, most of it actually do work. And that's kind of rare, rare when this tractor gets this old, especially if you, if you don't do any maintenance on it. But of course there are some things that do not work, some buttons, some lights. So we will need to have a look at that. Enough chat, let's try the tractor.
first trial with the tractor did not go as planned. We ended up getting stuck. Now I don't think that the front loader is the best tool for collecting stones when the fields are so wet as they are now because we just sank down. And also the front wheels aren't made to take the, the most weight. They are a lot more narrow than the back wheels. So I think in order to uh, continue we need to put up the, the back loader. And also uh, I discovered a few things when I tried the tractor now. First off, the front loader is almost impossible to, to release because it needs some lubrication. That's not a big problem. But the other one which is a bit more concerning is that, um, that um, power steering sometimes uh, disconnected. And that's not good when, uh, when you're driving in a front loader full of rocks. So that's something that we need to have a look at. But anyways, uh, we should continue with this work because I needed those stones to fill up the hole that we dug earlier this summer. So I think we need to go and uh, connect the, the rear bucket. So this is not how I plan to end this video, but as you can see the skies have opened up and it's just pouring now. And uh, my fields were already really wet and this of course do not help. So I, I would rather not get the tractor stuck out there. So that means that we just have to collect the rocks another time. So if you want to continue following our channel and see the videos when I start to fix up this tractor then uh, of course uh, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. That's the only way that you will actually get notified every time that we make a video. So do that and I will be seeing you guys again on the next video. Bye.